It has taken 32 talented men about three years. Using skills they already had or acquired in prison, they just completed a new central control building at John Lilly Correctional Center. And today was the official grand opening ceremony. Father God, today is a day that we dedicate a building, Lord, that we put in your hands. One, two, three. I appreciate everything that you guys have done, everything that you're going to do going forward, because you guys have a trade that you can actually fall into and make some money, and good money. So I'm tickled about that. Y'all know I'm proud of it, because I tell you every day. You know, I remember the floor. Remember the floor? So we did the floor. We never did the floor. We never did. You know, when you're doing the, like, the garage floor, I thought it looked pretty good. They had a problem. So guess what? We, we did it again, didn't we? See, that's, that's the that, that's that pride. Something to be proud of. I know they are workers because one's wearing a tape measure right now. <laughs> Apparently, he's not enjoying being in here. He's wanting to get back to work. Every different joint, every different nail, every different aspect of it coming together is something that can bring pride. And you all should feel that pride. For those that have gone on and you're getting your licensing, or you're getting your testing, and you're being able to move outwards, that makes a huge difference. You made a difference in the lives of people that you will never know their names, you will never know who they are, you will never see them face to face. But when they come to this location, through this control center, you've made a difference in somebody else's life from this day forward. And I'm here today to say thank you.